Right, so I'm here with uh, Sky F1 commentator David Croft. So David, the Auto Sports Show, and you're at the live action arena doing commentary for a lot of it. You haven't got a lot of voice left, so I'll keep this brief. Um, so what do you think of the show so far? It's rubbish. Um, no, my <laughs> voice is going because uh, I'm quite excited. Uh, it, it, this is where my motorsport year kind of kicks off. Uh, and I love coming you know, as a fan and, and working at the Autosport show as well. The live action arena, it just burnt rubber filling your nostrils. Monster trucks, stunt cars, impossible parking, stock cars, autographs, you know, you name it, we've got it. Terry Grant, Petter Solberg doing an awful lot. David Coulthard, Alan McNish, and, and my old mate Anthony Davidson are coming down amongst others as well. It's, it's, it's going to be brilliant. I, I, I just love the fact that, that we all come here we get to look at some static cars, some live cars, get to have a chat with the fans as well about something we all love. You know, and it's been a long old winter. So no, now let, let's, let's bring the summer back again. Let, let's start the motorsport year. Well, sounds like a plan. And obviously F1 kicks off in March. Uh, lots of changes this season, of course, Alonso and Button at McLaren um, and some teams not there. Some teams, of course, um, strapped for cash, pay drivers and the like. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on the 2015 season? What, what, what are you, what's your prediction for it? I am hopeful. I am hopeful that this year we are going to see we're going to see a year where others start to catch Mercedes up because in the evolution of the new regulations from last year eventually people will. I'm hopeful that Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg will continue to battle it out so closely and that one guy doesn't run away with the championship and I don't think that will happen. I think Lewis is driving superbly well but I think Nico has shown his resilience over the years and, and I don't think he, he'll be taken lightly um, uh, by Lewis at all on that respect. I'm hopeful that Ferrari with the changes they've made and that McLaren with the changes that they've made start to rekindle some of their, their, their better seasons in recent years and that Red Bull can survive and thrive without Sebastian Vettel and Adrian Newey. These are big, big tasks and it will take an awful lot of effort but I'm hopeful that they've got the right people in place uh, to move on. I'm hopeful that we can find a way to allow teams to thrive at, at the rear of the grid and that the likes of Haas F1 coming in, in in 2016 have the climate where they can come into the sport and give us headlines for the right reasons, not here's another cash strapped team. And that, you know, we, we can start to really enjoy Formula One, you know, because I, I do, I, I, I love Formula One, I love covering Formula One. I love watching Formula One and talking about it, but I want to talk about some positivity. You know, and we, we had a lot of, of negative stories last year off the track. So let's let's have some, some positivity. Let's let's address the problems, address the issues, and let's find solutions. Brilliant. Okay, well, um, of course you're with Sky this year, the, uh, the only channel broadcasting all 20 races live in the UK, alongside uh, Martin Brundle, of course. So. Uh, what do you, what do you uh, what do you plan to do? Anything different for 2015 with Sky? Yeah, I'm going to let him talk more. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think with Sky, we, we, I've actually had a few emails this afternoon, and as we talk, um, we're, we're, we're going to get together and have a, a pre-season production meeting, and, and we've got lots of ideas, all of which I can't tell you about at this moment in time. <laughs> but but trust me, there, there is a, a creative a creative germ running through the spine of the, of the, the F1 department. He talks where complete rubbish. Can I have just a chat with you in a minute? Complete no. 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 McNish, he McNish. A, he watches darts. He's, he's, no. he's a darts man. No. He knows nothing about just, All you hear here. is Bedford Rugby Club in darts. Bedford Rugby Club? When was the last time you went to Goldington Road? I was at Bedford Rugby Club uh, December 2012. Yeah? Yep. Did, they, I, did they serve you a drink or could you not see above the bar? No, we went round to the little the house bar round the, the corner, bar. the little um, Romanian club bar or something, where nice. everything's a pound. Yeah, they use Alan McNish, I go to a bar where everything's a pound. <laughs> this is how it works, yeah? Where everything's a pound. He lives in and Monaco, I and I had to buy, I had to buy it myself because there was a cheapskate <laughs> who lived around that area wouldn't pay for a thing. Are you well? Very well. You're you. looking well. You've grown since I last saw you. Uh, yeah, well, you might, you might have to deputise for me tomorrow. And on that note, I think we'll leave that there. Yeah, you can, you can leave that. What were we talking about? No, we've got loads of ideas uh, at Sky, but you know we'll, we'll be there. The, the whole team will be uh, back. Uh, Natalie Pinkham, uh, obviously, giving birth soon, and uh, uh, and she'll be joining us at, at some stage. But the F1 show, lots of Ars Crofties as well. Um, we, we just we want people to have as much fun 
with us, watching us and taking part and joining us as we have, you know, presenting the shows and bringing the coverage uh, to, to all the fans. You know, Formula One deserves its own channel, so, so we give you uh, a channel and, and just come and take part. Come and, come and be in the show for an F1 show. I've been in them twice. Even better. There you go. Make He's it been it four times. Four times? <laughs> That's stalker, that, that is. is. Yeah, that is stalker. Greedy. Anyway, thanks, David. <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs>